Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this one we're going to be reacting to Battlestar Galactica Season 1 Episode 12 called Cobalt's Last Gleaming Part 1. Uh, so it's a obviously a two-part finale. Yeah, yeah. finale, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recap. Uh, was, I think we'll start with Caprica because uh, Hilo and, um, and Sharon basically get to uh, a spaceport essentially where they want to get a ship and get off the planet. Uh, but in the, all the all the fuss, Hilo sees a copy of Eight, uh, which is another, which looks like Sharon basically, mm. and he realizes that she, in fact, is a humanoid Cylon basically, mm. uh, and and just runs away. Um, so he's, I don't know how she's going to explain that one to him. Um, so that'd be interesting. Well, throughout uh, that throughout that throughout that episode in Caprica, um, he's figuring it out. Like, yeah you can um, see it yeah he's like oh maybe they're like like redoing their dna or like copying the dna or making yeah. clones and sharon's like um oh me but that probably means they have the ability to love again kind of like you know that yeah. kind of thing yeah. like oh but they're still silence um, yeah yeah, so, yeah yeah he dismisses the idea yeah which is interesting um meanwhile back on uh in the fleet they, uh, uh, President Roslin opens the Quorum of Twelve. Essentially, it's like a council, um, and obviously Zarek is going to be there. And there is a weird kind of—it's not an assassination attempt, but there is an assassination attempt uh, there. He nominates himself as vice president. Yeah, because he was like, "Oh, there's so many um, things to take care of, but the, the highest priority should be given to." Um, appointing a vice president because there isn't yeah. one and everyone seconds that yeah. motion and then someone's like oh by the way i also um want nominate tom zarek to be vice yeah. president as well at the same time which is kind of funny um they have on um Rosalind's side there is someone she has in mind that is kind of probably he's good at not his in job, the limelight as much but, but everyone yeah. knows who he is um he's good at his job and then... but he's boring yeah which yeah, is yeah. which is the the opposite way politics should work it's not it shouldn't yeah. be a popularity contest but yeah fortunately that's what it is like in the show and, and in real life but um she i think she realizes that tom's basically got an upper hand over him so yeah who's the next yeah, kind yeah. of guy yeah. that's Who very good at yeah. talking and popular and smart and people would vote for yeah it's guys. It's guys. Yeah. yeah. He he's now become our vice president in the show, mm. uh, which is brilliant. Uh, which is it's brilliant and it's insane at the same time because he, we we said is he actually still going to be able to process everything? Even though at this point, does he really care? Yeah. <laughs> it's just... I actually, don't know what his duties as vice president would be. Actually, to be <laughs> yeah. honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Let's see what happens in this episode. Uh, season 1, Episode 12, Kobo's Last Gleaming, Part 1. Let's check it out. It'd be funny if Adama knocks him out. <laughs> I kind of want to see him knock him out as well. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Where are you running to? Where are you? She's on Galactic Ball. Why is she holding a... Like, what? I don't know. Is she going to kill herself? Is or that why to? Oh, God. I hope not. Just do it. She's already been given the message by guys that she's not a silent, so why would she be doing that? I don't think she believes him. Oh. Okay, who is this? Because it's obviously not Apollo. Please. What? It is? What? Oh god. god! Wow. This oh, oh we got sparked. It's so much happening in such a short space of time. It's so crazy. This is weird. Oh damn. Oh damn he did. And <laughs> this is just jokes. That is awkward, <laughs> isn't it? This guy's just making his way through the ship. Yeah, pretty much. Just don't say anything, just walk out. Just walk it's just out. awkward enough as it is. Is this straight after the party as well? It is, isn't it? it? She's got yeah, the same is, yeah. clothes. Yeah. First thing he does as vice president is try and sleep with everyone. You don't lose control. 
You gotta lose control. Let your instincts take over. I thought we were just sparring. That's why you don't win. Ooh. You restrict yourself, basically. Yeah. Just gonna sit there and drink my drain cleaner. Don't judge me. Yes, I don't judge me. <laughs> I didn't expect um, Hilo to do this. I thought he would have hesitated, but... He said the cancer's moved into my lymphatic system. Oh, no. Aggressively moved in. She's not lasting six months. I know you're the one to lead us to our salvation. You are going to guide us to our... And we better find it soon. Mm-hmm. Come on, you guys always play this slow. What? Come on, it's Wait, what did you say? Let me read it. Don't distract me. About Is he feeling a little I'm bit not, like... Yeah. Because yeah, she said Lee's it, name, yeah. 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 You can't compete with me. There we go. I always win. Yeah, he's oh, feeling God. a little bit... Um, Never seen you like this, guys. What's the word? Emasculated, sort of? Yeah. She's back on her feet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey. Ugh. The first encounter after the night before. And he's drunk. Guys, good. Mr. Vice President, to you, if you don't mind, Lieutenant Thrift. Oh. Some level of decorum has to be maintained after all, or is it a pirate ship you're running? He's so drunk. Maybe you'd like to sit next to Captain Adama. <clears throat> Let's see if he... Picks up on it. Yeah. I think he's already picking up on it. <laughs> Look, he looks so distraught. He's drunk. Take the economy back to a currency-based standard. Do you love her? He obviously doesn't. Yeah. My answer is no. No, I don't think that I can handle this right now. The, the intricacies of the bureaucracy... It's brilliant. He's having two conversations. Mm -hmm. How you could think that my head could be turned so, so quickly by, 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 by a new thing, it's... Uh, it just, it, it astounds me. It's crazy, exactly crazy. He's having two conversations at the same time. <laughs> I'm not your plaything. Plaything. <laughs> <laughs> this is so I funny. Don't sit anymore and, and take this kind of abuse from either of you. Either of you? You either, either in here, <laughs> either in there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh. I think perhaps you need a break from this. Yeah. Yeah, you do sound crazy, but Sober we know up why. a bit better. Yeah. We need a break. <laughs> oh, he's breaking up with head six. But the last time that happened, we saw the chilling good free. I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. Oh! There we go. I told you. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you. I mean, you did that to yourself. Yourself, yeah. Did you want something in particular this time? I thought you should know that it's not safe to remain on Galactica. Um, because... It's a surprise. Uh, something bad is happening. Woman! What happened there? You can't plan a jump that close to a planet. What if we jumped into the damn oh, thing? It's great. It's fine. We made it. We're cool. I mean, it is pretty idiotic. Yeah, because you wouldn't need to get pulled in or in the yeah. middle. Yeah. Or... Where is that? Um, where is that? It's probably the closest planet they've seen that looks like Earth or Caprica. It kind of looks like Earth, bro. Hmm. This could be it. This could be the big one. This is the little planet that solves all of our problems. Yeah, this might actually be it. You they can actually land on it, right? They might have yeah. found it. Do you think this is Earth? No, it's not Earth. Okay. It's more important than that. Earth. What's more important than Earth? Okay, so she's not dead dead. And he's kind of kept her alive. Because he does love her. You're not even human, so don't start acting like you know me because you don't. But I am Sharon. Da that's the funny thing, it yeah. is Sharon. 
Okay. Oh. Try not to make too much noise. What he doesn't understand is Sharon only existed like this. There's no other Sharon. This is it. Yeah. This is it. He hasn't put two and two together and been like, well, if you're a Solon, then. So he's a love him and leave him kind of guy, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Ships just passing the night. Yep. Why are you doing this, Lee? Are you into her as well? Yeah. I don't owe you anything. No, you don't owe me anything. Because I'm just a cag and you're just a pilot. Right. A pilot who can't keep her pants on. Ooh. Oh, it is just like old times, Kara. Like when you got drunk and you can keep your hands off the major from wherever. <laughs> oh, sh oh, snap. Shit. At least you both got it out of your system, sort of. How old are the ruins? Uh, on the order of approximately 2,000 years. That's around the time the 13 tribes first left Cobol. It could be it. Yeah, they, like, they, they built that colony. Ruin? What ruin? Looks crazy. This is an inhabited city. Inhabited as in they're inhabited right now? The forum in the opera house in the city of the gods. On Cobol. Yeah, that kind of looks yeah, like Yeah, it does it. look like that. Yeah. yeah. This planet is Cobol. That's insane. I found it by accident as well. I want to know what's going through her mind. Why is she doing this? Hello, Lieutenant. Hey, Doc. Well, this would be a fun conversation. Deep down, she knows she's a Cylon. Okay, so you're her right. Conscious mind won't yeah. accept it. She does doubt herself. Her model is weak. Always has been. Even here, she's got beef with Boomer, with, yeah. same yeah. as Caprica. But I'm afraid I'm gonna hurt someone. I feel like I have to be stopped. She can't be stopped, she's a Cylon. Sometimes uh, we must embrace that which opens up for us. What does that mean? There are far worse things than death in this world. Listen to your heart and embrace that which you know to be the right decision. This is coming across creepy, man. Yeah. I mean, he's obviously helping her deal with whatever she's dealing with, but... I mean, if it's in her heart to off herself, then... No, I don't... Yeah, yeah, that's also true. Yeah, didn't think of it like that. How kind of advice was that? Um... Oh, she just... No, what? Oh shit, this is messed up. She actually just. Yeah. Oh, okay, you moving right. swiftly. Maybe go. I think we should seriously consider permanent settlement on this planet. Yeah. The scriptures tell us that Cobalt points the way to Earth. Yeah, but you have an, a planet you can inhabit. Remember what I said, guys? You don't want to be here when it happens. When when... What, what would happen if I go? <laughs> I'm going to volunteer for the survey party. Your presence won't be necessary, Doctor. Thank you. Oh, you're staying. If I can gather the samples by myself, unless you have any objection, Madam President. No objections. Thank you. God, he's so good. He's so good. Oh, came out of the side of a. She probably oh. did that, like, and it came yeah. out that. Yeah. What do you think? Well, she flinched at the last second, and it yeah. shot through. I wake up and wonder if I'm going to hurt someone. This is a bit... Uh, uh, I kind of feel for her. Chief. Yeah, but she has, they haven't really shown much of her in the last couple of episodes. Like, they're what she's feeling. This is like... Mm. If we had the arrow of Apollo, we could take it down to Kobol and we could use it to open the tomb of Athena and find our way to Earth. This is just a whole load of gobbledygook there. Yeah, where's the arrow? What is the arrow? There is no earth. You understand that? I keep on forgetting that. I made yeah. that up. These stories about Cobol, gods, the arrow of Apollo, they're just stories. Yeah, but she believes the myths to be true. There is a good chance the raider can jump all the way back to Caprica and retrieve that arrow and find our way to earth. That's a bit 
Risky, isn't it? Yeah. To go chasing some mythical arrow. Yeah, and you've only got one. Oh, oh no. we got a planet. Oh my god. Oh, oh my shit. god, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god, there's a Cylon. How did they get there so quickly? I, I, I don't know. I don't, but it, that's a proper, like a base. Get on the ground, man. Guys is freaking out. Yeah, oh, you would be as well. The yeah, guy next true. to you is just. Well, that is going to be a very hard landing. We need a way to take out the bishop before we can attempt a rescue. Starbucks already working on a plan using the captured raider to get a nuke into the bishop. Oh, wow. That would work. That would work. Super risky there. How's that going to work? Engage the autopilot, punch out, get picked up by a raptor. The raider heads to the base ship. Picks up the transponder, allows the raider to approach. Nuke goes off. Boom, sir. How are you going to eject out of that? I need every pilot I have. Even the screw-ups. <laughs> Thanks for that. Just say you like her already. I'm really sorry. Um, I mean, that was the perfect time to not walk away. Yeah. It would seem that the gods have a different plan. Uh... Would you please get me Lieutenant Thrace? But hang on. She's not going to ask her. Instead of blowing up a base, can you just please go back to Caprica? And get me the arrow. You can't be yeah. serious. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> all of this will happen again. The Cylon you interrogated, he quoted that bit of scripture. The thing is, Starbuck is also religious. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that my part in the story is to go off on some crazy ass mission against orders. That's a good point. I am dying. I have terminal breast cancer. I always forget not everyone knows. Yeah. A dying leader led humanity to the promised land. It's hard not to believe her when she says it. Yeah, but then it's like, where is the arrow? Where have you kept it? How do you even know where it is? What does it look like? And that's a good point. The old man is our last chance to find Earth. He knows where it is. He said so. You were there. Is she going to tell her what Adama believes? Yeah, I think so. Commander Adama has oh, no, no idea where Earth is. He never did. He made it up. In order to give people hope. Mm. She didn't need to do this to get Starbuck. On board. Yeah. Yeah, it's dumb. Because she's basically ruining the chain of command. Here. Yeah, that's what, that's what like, exactly yeah, it is. But she's basically trying to say, look, he doesn't know. So why are you putting your faith in it? How much longer till we reach Earth? <laughs> it's hard to say. Are we getting closer? I'm sure we are. Let's just push her to go to Caprica now. I believed you. Believed in Earth. What are you doing, Starbuck? Bringing home the cat, sir. We can talk about this. Nope, she's already gone, mate. What are you doing, Kara? This is insane. If she does go to Caprica, which she is, then she might actually find Hilo. Where the hell did she go? Oh. I mean, or she might not find anything and get killed. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. But... Oh, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. In, they found something good and in moments of madness they've just gone like they've just gone their own separate ways mm. it's it, you know what actually to be fair one thing I'm going to say the story is very interesting it is because I, I don't know if I mentioned this before but essentially they're moving backwards so basically people from Earth let's say it exists in this in this universe or whatever yeah. people went from Earth they went exploring found a planet you know that they that they built a civilization on then obviously they left to inhabit other planets mm. became gods and created myths and all this all this crap it's basically lost in translation from like, like greek mythology from earth and all that stuff yeah and now it's like 
okay, now they're moving, they're retracing their roots and going backwards. Why would you take an arrow with you? <laughs> what is the arrow? Like, yeah, what I don't will know, the, I don't know the arrow, it is. is it arrow gonna like, when you, you know, like when you win that thing of like, if you have a, like a cup of water or whatever, you put a needle in it, it will automatically point to north kind of thing. Is it that? Is that the, uh, what the arrow is going to do? Is she going to put it on a lake or something and it's yeah. going to go, uh, that's Earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put it on someone's head and it just starts moving. Um, it, just, no, it, it was just a whole load of Greek action. myth. It's a whole load of Greek myth added into extra stuff. I was, I was like, are we in like God of War or something? What the hell is going on? Um, it's because Ros, obviously because Rosin's under that camdia yeah, whatever, know, whatever I, that I just, medicine was kind of yeah, thing yeah but i think it's i think it's not only that i think it's it's dangerous if you're a, if you're in politics and whatever you have to have a balance on things and i know that the i know the shows obviously showing us that she she's hallucinating she's showing us all the but what she's doing is she's putting a lot of things a lot of different pieces together to create what is manifesting in front of them and it's kind of like uh, yeah go on yeah which is it just it's just weird it's just it's like kind of you can't pick at things and be like well yes i'm destined to do this or, i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's in the it's spread to like lymphatic system as well now, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a, like the desperation knowing yeah. that you have you don't have enough time yet and you've got a lot of shit to do and you are led to believe that you are the chosen one that will essentially lead people to the promised land. There's another way to put it. It's, it, it, it it's accelerates. Like giving, yeah, it, yeah, it does. It's kind of like, oh, I've got to do one last good thing before I die. Like you cling on to that, yeah. that, that notion of, of you trying to achieve something. Yeah. It's okay if you don't, but it's, it's, the thing. it's a good, I mean, it's a, that, it's a wonderful notion. It's a good notion. She obviously wants to save everyone. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> but the thing is you're trying to find a needle in the haystack cause they have no idea where it is. Okay. They found this planet, which is great. Um, and it probably was the birthplace of their civilization, but it, at the same time, it's kind of like, also it's like raiders. How do, how did the silence know to get there? Um, well, there's two things. A, how did the silence? Maybe they were just jumping around, whatever. There's Secondly, units. There's that. The you know they were talking about the, the little, yeah that thing, whatever. I think that smoke alarm. <laughs> it is. I've, while I was watching it, I was like, maybe it was obviously subconsciously because um, Boomer's uh, Cylon. She obviously was there, so maybe I don't know. Maybe some sort of like. Tele out of body telepathic kind of kind yeah. Of, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't it's just obviously picking at like but the, okay so the if if she does go back to capri if starbuck does go back to caprica which it looks like she is then it explains the caprica story yeah and it kind of it merges it merges it yeah, yeah it merges because Hilo can't get off so the only smart thing would be someone to come back yeah right also i don't know how they're going to fit in that little and, tin can and also would he take um no, he wouldn't because Shang, that boomer. because Starbuck yeah, that. knows that um, um, Galactic Boomer's on Galactica. So who the hell is this? That's yeah, that's so what I mean. This yeah, is, yeah, is yeah, going to be fun. This is going to be fun when she or um, if she does make it. I did feel I like sad for Boomer in this. I felt really sad for her, in knowing that she's a Cylon. I felt really sad for her. Well, I think I think like I said, and I couldn't explain it properly in the episode. It was more like there have been. We saw a lot of her in the beginning, the first couple of episodes, and it kind of like, it's just like sprinkles of her just being there, mm. trying to figure out. Obviously she asked Gaius, he was like, no, even though it's a yes. Then yeah. someone drew the, the thing on her. Um, mirror. Her mirror. And then obviously she's piecing together all the bits where she's randomly woken up, completely drenched in water. She's the one that planted all the bombs and stuff. So it's kind of like, a, it's all kind of converging into one point. But the fact that she's like, I'm just gonna kill myself. I suppose what else? It's, what else can you do? Who you can't tell anyone? Oh, I think I'm a Cylon. But they were like, okay, we'll go get tested. Mm. But it's kind of a. There's a bit of a catch in situation. But also the fact that she feels like, if she is, then it's worth ending. Myself. I, the fact I that she has that notion, being as 
being a sleeper agent, like the fact that she yeah. has that, it's just show. It's um, it's very complex. It's very complex the way they've done it. I thought of a real funny, uh, you know, in the beginning of the episode where they show both, both boomers and they're both kind of at a gun's point. One's had a gun aiming at her, the other one's aiming at herself. I thought it would, it would have been funny if they both got shot at the same time. Obviously, we don't know if it's relative in terms of time, but if they both got shot and obviously their consciousness gets uploaded into one person. <laughs> imagine that one person waking up just screaming. It's like, what the hell has just happened? I've got, <laughs> I'm in space. I'm in, I'm on, I'm on a planet. I'm on and Tropica, like, I don't know what's going on kind of thing. That'd have been insane. That'd be insane. Um, obviously it wouldn't. But you're right also with the sixth shitting on eight because... Six on or shit on Boomer because yeah. she she feels like she's a lesser it was, model. It was pa- yeah, it was parallel to to what happened on Caprica with the yeah. six on there yeah, yeah. to the to Sharon. That was um so it must be like it's always been like that. She's always hated her in some way, yeah, shape, yeah, or form, yeah. kind of some thing. Weird, yeah, yeah. Um, she just feels like it's a lesser model. So it's it's kind of like it's well, a bit messed up. Guys pushed her. Push, pushed Boomer to, to, to do that. I was like, what are you talking about? Find what's in your heart. Like, if it's the right thing to do, what? Bro, Again, do you know what you're trying to do? Weird, yeah, it's a weird one because I think he... Because Six said something about... An, like, something about something's going to happen in Galactica. He thought, probably thought, well, if I get uh, her to kill herself, then she's not going to... Stop, gonna... stop, stop, stop. Go back to that. We haven't even talked about that. That's yeah, the most yeah, important that's bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that's it's. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm. I don't know. Then she can't just be in his head. If that's the case, something's going to happen. That's what I mean. And no, nothing but happened it's a weird Galact- one. Nothing happened on Galactica though. That's what. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Okay, look. The other thing you got to remember is Roslyn is hell-bent on becoming the one person to um to lead the people back home because that's what the prophecy says exactly but six is telling gaius that he's the good person oh so wow. we should, we she know might that, not yeah. know she, yeah so but, but so basically i don't think she i don't think anything's going to happen in galactica she told gaius that to get him off the ship to go to cobalt because he's a science person, so he would find. Wouldn't that make more sense? You're lying yeah, to your find, subconscious. Find what though? Because they need the the damn arrow to do anything on no, but you, but That again, and hypothetically thinking about something that's not on the ground and actually being on the ground are two different things. That's true. That's true. So I you mean, don't actually. This is yeah. Because this is the thing. Even even the the reason I say that is in the last episode when he became vice president. She pushed him to do something that put him out of his comfort zone, and inadvertently he became vice president. Yeah, so like, it's do you like I was saying she, and it's yeah, we don't even yeah, know, you know but okay. she obviously. Yeah, yeah. It might not be. You know what? Now I'm, the more and more she, every episode goes by, I don't know if she's in his head or this is something completely different. If next episode, the actual finale, finale, he is on Cobol, which we know he is, and something yeah. actually does happen on Galactica. Yeah, yeah, that's she's, that's what I'm saying. She's this not is, in this his is head. The hyper- yeah, she's not, yeah, that's not that's him. what I'm saying. It's it's too at the moment we don't know. Yeah, so it's like yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Is um, it a way? Yeah, yeah. That was um, you know, <laughs> going on about it for ages and ages. It was an insane episode, even though it wasn't a finale. Um, yeah. Amazing episode. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? But other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Thank you.